If you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Ah, God damn it, you fucking Hinkley did. Oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! <laughs> So, now that I've kind of had time to think about everything in regards to the Donald Trump assassination attempt, the more that I realize things just don't make sense and don't add up. Um, number one, the fact that this person is a registered Republican and meets the criteria of everybody that's come before him. People, you know, incel, cis white men. It just strikes me as very odd that somebody like this took aim at Donald Trump. Now, if this was like some sort of like, you know, radical revolutionary, or if this was just somebody with, you know, with a grievance or something like that, I could understand that. But it doesn't really seem like this person had any prior connection with Donald Trump. He's voted Republican in the past. So what gives the other issue is this person got insanely close to Donald Trump like within like a few hundred feet and was on a roof was on like an elevated structure and then managed to graze him across the ear And also, it's just the fact that Secret Service took an insanely long time to jump in and save him. Like, Trump had already ducked before they had even gotten in there. And then had time, while they're supposedly under fire, to stand up and give the little fist bump. Which just kind of screams propaganda to me, especially considering the fact that, you know, this has been played over and over by Western media, and not just Fox News. This has been replayed over and over by CNN, by BBC, by so many different news outlets, and it just screams propaganda. It just screams For, like, I'm not saying that this is a false flag, but this does seem very suspicious. This almost seems like this was somehow coordinated to some way. Now, of course, I will entertain a lot of liberals who are out there saying, oh, well, it doesn't matter if it was staged. It doesn't matter if it was a false flag. They're going to play off of this. Yes, they are. That that was going to be the intention, whether it was staged or not. They're going to capitalize on this. And yes, it's going to probably make things a lot worse. Security definitely is going to be tightened after this. But it just straight, especially considering that this also comes after supposedly Biden's poll numbers had taken a jump. This this just seems like a, a really easy way, well, maybe not easy way, but this seems like a really convoluted way to, you know, bolster his poll, Trump's poll numbers to make him seem invincible. He's already seen as a god to most of his people. 
which and I could go into the whole Christians and idolatry hypocrisy, but that's that'll be for another video, I guess. Um, but he's already seen as basically some god, like some invincible entity. And all this is going to do is essentially deify him. This is... I, I, I don't... I know this might be a shitty comparison, maybe not. But this really almost invokes almost a sense of, like, Caesarian sort of idolatry, like Caesarian cult of personality. Because essentially, him giving that fist bump, that propaganda tool, that really is going going forward and probably if he continue uh, if Biden continues running he's going to win regardless but that iconic fist bump with the blood streaming down his face is almost going to be tantamount to a lot of these magoids as the general as the great general Julius Caesar coming home from battle. So I will entertain the fact that yes, it's going to get worse, and that yes, Trump probably has just won the election. But with Biden running, that was already a guarantee. But by this act this the, the the what this shooter did at this point you might as well hand the man a fucking uh, you know a fucking crown and declare him emperor because at this point that's what you've pretty well done you have enshrined that this dictator will rule for the rest of his life which given his age and his uh physical shape uh probably will only be a couple of years anyway but if anything it's going to enshrine if not at least at the bare minimum bolster the reactionary momentum that he has around him and the reactionary just violent cult of personality that he has around him that this will can this only motivates them further now if he had been it now it really doesn't matter even if he had even if the shooter hadn't hinkled it and it actually you know jfk'd him then in this situation it wouldn't really have made much of a difference it would have just it would have just set off a wave of violence and at this point you know all that's going to happen is that these people are going to double down they're going to tighten down and they're going to get even more draconian they're going to get even more tactical so no matter how you, and no matter how you slice it they're going to try to blame the left even though quite literally this person is a registered republican and gave what 15 dollars to the biden campaign because you know that 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 15 dollars really so, you know, that, that really drives the point home, doesn't it? No. I don't buy it. This person that committed this crime was a cis white male, was a registered Republican, and at 20 years old fits the criteria of somebody who 
would essentially fall into the realm of the, the far right, who would fall into that whole Proud Boys, that whole, you know, reactionary gobbledygook that a lot of young cis white men fall into. But no matter how you slice it, all this is going to do is bolster Trump's polls, is bolster his support. And here's another thing to think about. Regardless of what the situation is, it's still going to be Biden versus Trump. It's still going to end up with a Trump victory because Democrats refuse to have a spine and stand up and remove Biden from the election and run somebody like Kamala Harris, which at this point is literally the only way they stand even the slightest chance of defeating Donald Trump. And many people have been coming out in support of that. George Clooney, who's one of the biggest financial donors to the Democrats, has stated that Donald Trump needs to step down. And what did Biden do? He basically just brushed it off. He he just base uh, or you know, what did Joe Biden do? He just brushed it off. He just basically told George Clooney, F off, I don't need you. Because that's the problem with Biden and Biden supporters, is that they are so delusional. They are so fixated on running him personally that they forget that they're trying to run to win. Like it almost, like it's been seeming for quite some time now, like they've been intentionally trying to bomb the election. But now it goes beyond just doing that. At this point, they seem to almost be doing this just purely out of ego. And that's really what it is. It comes down to ego. You've got two egotistical people, two egotistical, egotistical geriatrics running for president and and the only winners in this is going to be the bourgeoisie the people certainly are not going to win on either side and that's not to say that their people are, are going to have any sort of victory if kamala harris were to actually run because they won't but the point is these people are so delusional, so willing to run this man, even despite the fact that he looks like a befuddled old man, he's looking so senile and so weak and incompetent, and they're just essentially handing it to Trump. And this is the problem with a lot of liberals, and this is something that we've been saying on the left for quite some time is that liberals are are inadvertently willing to side with fascists as long as it means they get to keep the comforts that they have under capitalism you know yeah some of them come from backgrounds that you know might be lumpen or might even be labor aristocrat but these people, they don't, they don't care. They don't want to do revolution because they enjoy their comforts that they have benefited under capitalism. They don't want to do revolution because it's scary and people die. And it's that type of thinking right there as to why America is where it is now and why America is not going to get out of it. It's why the first world is like this and won't get out of it. 
but it also comes down to the contradictions of the bourgeois democracy. You have a chance to at least preserve the more socially fascist elements of capitalism, of the capitalist democracy, but you absolutely refuse. You are so delusional that you are willing to let this man continue running even though he will almost certainly lose. But yet there's a 20-year younger candidate that, that could step up into that role, but you don't have the testes to do that. You don't have the testes to basically say, okay, we're going to say no, we're going to vote to have Kamala Harris or Gavin Newsom or whoever the fuck they wanted to put in there run for the Democrat, the Democratic Party. But you refuse to do that. Because like liberals have always been, they're spineless, they're cowards, and they, ben they benefit from the same elements of capitalism that conservatives do. And they're unwilling to waver. People like Marla Alpert, people like Under the Desk News, people like Brianna Wu, people like Stacey K, people who are willing to just, just let it be. None of you have even the slightest bit of courage to just admit, okay, we were wrong, maybe we should run somebody else, or yes, you're right, maybe we do need to take more drastic action. Because at this point, the fascists have been taking drastic action. They've been taking drastic action for years now. January 6th, 2021, they were taking real drastic action there. That was the closest they got to possibly overthrowing the government and establishing a reactionary dictatorship. Meanwhile, what has the left done? Bicker and argue? So, this is really is something to really think about because the way that things keep marching forward we're either going to have to fight our way out or we're going to have to basically the way that it comes down to it we're either going to fight our way out or we're going to die in the camps plain and simple Voting does nothing. This election is a sham. This democracy is a sham. And after this, after this little theatric, it's pretty much enshrined that fa that a fascist dictatorship is imminent for America, an authoritarian fascist dictatorship, not just a social fascist one that we've been under, but an authoritarian one. And as capitalism continues to decay further, the more of a reality that's going to be. So, as much of a broken record as I sound, you can either die a martyr for the cause, or you can die a coward in chains. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time. Thank you for watching. 
Do you like news and politics from a leftist perspective, true crime, or informational videos on leftist philosophy and pagan belief practices, and would like to support the channel? Please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. Even a few bucks really helps me out. All links are provided in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share on various social media. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I put out content regularly, so you will always get quite a bang for your buck.